Hi guys, it's Claire, and today I bring you limited edition 1 of 5,000 Lady Terrain. So, yep, let's start with the box. The box is like a dark purplish color, and then it has this blue right here, limited edition of 1,500 pieces worldwide, Lady Tremaine. And then her box design. Go up the side and then you can see a little bit of the intricateness on the box if it hits the lighting just right. So, yeah. And try to ignore the dogs for ages 6 and up. Even though I recommend them to adult collectors. So, yeah. Because these dolls aren't meant to be played with. And then she came from the Disney store. And then here is the side of the box. It's not really intricate or anything. There's nothing really to it like it is like Cinderella's or any of the other limited edition dolls. So, yeah, and it's a really dark purple. And then there's the insert to it, which I'm glad you can see it a lot better on the purple box. So, yeah. And then here's the other side. So, yep, and then it has silver linings and stuff to it and metallic linings and sorry it about fell so yeah it's really really pretty and then let's move on to the doll herself and here she is Lady Tremaine so yep let's get started on her face her face is absolutely gorgeous she has green eyes like black eyeshadow purple it looks like a little bit of golden golden light purple so yeah it's really nice and stuff and she has dark purple lips and then she has earrings right here let's see if I can face her towards the light so you can see those so yeah it's like a dark green color and then her eyebrows her eyebrows are very expressive I like the mean glare to her eyebrows then like the other heirloom doll, she has really long eyelashes. Let's see if I can get a focus on that. So yeah, really, really pretty. And then here's her hair. This part of her hair is soft. It's very, very soft, but over here it feels like a little harder just because there's probably so much hair and stuff. So yeah, it is gray and it looks like a darker gray or a black. Because, you know, she's older. She's an older villain. And then up here, I think it curls into like a bun or something. I can't really see it. So, yeah. Let's see if I can see it more from over here. So, yeah, it curls into like a bun and stuff. So, yeah, it's really, really pretty. And then she has this purple collar on her that goes all the way around her. The material is like really weird. It's very, very odd. I don't know how to describe this. But I like the way the collar goes all the way around her neck. So yeah, it's definitely pretty. And then under it is really blinged out. So yeah, with rhinestones and stuff. And then an emerald piece right here. So yeah, that's really pretty. And then here is her dress. It is red with gold trim except for the sleeves, which are these parts, and then it's it's a sheer type maybe with a gold sparkly trim, so yeah. And then this is like a velvet. That feels really nice. That feels really, really nice. I really like that. I like how this fit right here. So, yeah, and then underneath this layer is this layer. It's like a... It's odd. It feels like a really... It feels like satin, but it doesn't feel like satin. So, yeah. Um, and then she holds a key. The key that she locks Cinderella in the room with and the one that the mice get. So, yeah, I like it. It's very detailed. Stuff. Really, really pretty. And then as you can see, her background is the staircase. 
that her daughters try on the glass slipper and it obviously doesn't fit in that it fits Cinderella. So, yeah. It's very, very... It has. It seems like this doll is very, very dark. Okay, so my opinions on her, where I got her. I got her from the same seller that sold me Cinderella. And I paid, I want to say, 170 for her, but I can't remember if it was her I paid 200 for or Cinderella that I paid 200 for. Either way, I paid for one of them 170 and then the other one 200 So, yeah. It was nice. So... This was the doll that I was more excited about than Cinderella just because she is a stunning piece of work and you guys know how much I love villains. I have no villain dolls in this room except for Hans over there but yeah there's always an exception to every rule and I really like Lady Tremaine. I like her face, I like her outfit. It's a little on the plainer side but she's a villain so it doesn't really bother me too much. So, yeah. And then the Certificate of Authenticity. Released in 2012 by the Disney Store. Oh, so I guess it was the end of 2012 that these were released. So, yeah. My number is 119 of 1,500. I don't really care about numbers, so, yeah, it doesn't bother me. So, yeah. Um... I definitely recommend this doll, even though she isn't really liked by a lot of people. I love her face, I love her hair, I love her outfit. A lot of people don't like the material that was made out of her outfit, which now that I feel it, I can sort of kind of see where they're coming from. But I really like this part of it, it's just this. It's just this. And then the collar. The collar isn't bad. I like the way the collar feels. It just feels like a really odd material. And sorry about the dogs. But, um, yeah. I definitely recommend her. Especially now because she's so cheap on the secondary market and stuff. And I would show you her shoes. But, yeah. It's stuck down there. I can't even feel her shoes. But, yeah. She is definitely a pretty doll. Highly, highly recommend her. She's gorgeous and stunning and I love her and I know that she'll be a wonderful piece to my collection as the only villain that I have and as the only villain that I do plan on getting at this point because I'm not really a fan of Ursula or Mother Gothel so yeah I hope you all enjoyed this review enjoy your weekends days whenever you decide to watch this okay bye and Lady Tremaine says bye too bye everybody